Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Today we're going to look at the age-old question, can the bathroom circuit also run the lights inside the bathroom? So we're talking about, you know, first off, does a bathroom require a circuit at all, its own circuit, or can I just run it off of anything? And then when I'm dealing with the receptacle inside that bathroom, am I also allowed to jump up and run the lights off of that or run other receptacles or other pieces of equipment? Let's jump into it now. All right, so here's our scenario. We're going to do a little bit of assuming and, uh, and assume that there's a receptacle behind this towel bar or maybe somewhere in this picture that we can't see. And the question is, can this, the circuit that runs this, can it also run these lights or if I wanted to put a vanity light or any other lights inside of this bathroom? But first, let's pull back and punt and let's look at whether or not we need a required circuit at all. And for that, we're going to be in 210.11C3. And it says, in addition to the number of branch circuits that were required in other parts of the code, one or more 120 volt, 20 amp branch circuit shall be provided for bathroom receptacle outlets that are required by the code. And that's all that it says. And it says, such circuit shall have no other outlets. So if you read that code at face value, it's saying no. You, you know, you, yes, you must have the circuit, and yes, it must run a receptacle, but no, it's not allowed to run anything else inside that bathroom. But don't forget what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the national exception code, the NEC. And let's look down at the exception below. It says where a 20 amp branch circuit supplies a single bathroom, outlets for other equipment in the same bathroom shall be permitted when they're supplied accordance with these two other codes. And these are the two codes right here, 210.23A1 and 210.23A2. So now let's jump over there and see when we are allowed to run, if at all, what this exception means and when we can run lights off the receptacle circuit. Let's get to it. All right, so when we flip over one page, I first want to read 210.23A and then we'll read one and two of the codes that it's talking about. But A says 15 and 20 amp branch circuits. A 15 or 20 amp branch circuit shall be permitted to supply lighting units or other utilization equipment as long as it complies with A1 and A2. So I do want to note that today we're specifically talking about a bathroom, but this applies to any circuit in general. It's allowed also to run lighting as long as it hits these two points. So the first one is 210.23A1, and it states that cord and plug connected equipment that are not fastened in place. So you're allowed to run lights inside of a bathroom as long as not one cord and plug connected equipment takes up more than 80% of the circuit. And this is what we're talking about here. So cord and, call it the cord and plug 80% rule. And this is one of the only 80% rules that are actually in the code. And let's go ahead and explain what it means. So let's imagine that we have this towel heating rack and it's a standalone version that is cord and plug connected. So as long as this piece of equipment doesn't exceed 80% of the branch circuit rating, then yes, I'm allowed to run lights and other pieces of equipment on this bathroom receptacle circuit. So I would take our 20 amp rated circuit I would multiply it by 0 0.80, 80%, .80, and that would give me 16 amps. So as long as this standalone towel bar or any other piece of equipment in that room individually doesn't take up more than 80% of that circuit, then I'm allowed to run lighting on that circuit. Now let's look at the second scenario, and it's to deal with fixed equipment, and it's the fixed equipment 50% rule. So let's look at another towel bar. This one is fixed in place. And, you know, we're going to imagine that this one's hardwired. So it's hardwired and fixed in place. In my opinion, if it's fixed in place at all, even if it's cord and plug connected, it would still be required to because the code here doesn't say anything about it being um, hardwired. It says the total rating utilization equipment fastened in place other than luminaries shall not exceed 50% of the branch circuit rating where lighting units, cord and plug connected utilization equipment that are not fastened in place or both are supplied. So let me simplify this. If it's fixed to the wall or fixed to the floor or fixed to the ceiling, that piece of equipment 
if it's tapped off the receptacle circuit for the bathroom, that piece of equipment is not allowed to take up more than 50% of the circuit. So if we take that and bear that math out, we would take 20, which was our original branch circuit rating. We multiply that by 50% and that gives us 10 amps. So that towel bar cannot take up more than 10 amps. It could be a 10 amp towel bar and still be allowed to run lighting in that bathroom but it's not allowed to be more than 10. It can't be 10.1 amps in my opinion. So with that being said, to look at this, kind of pan out and look back at it, I'm required to have a bathroom dedicated circuit that was stated before. And then if I do want to run lighting in that one bathroom, I am not allowed to have any cord and plug connected equipment that takes up 80% or greater, or more than 80% of the branch circuit. And I'm not allowed to have one fixed in place piece of equipment that takes up more than 50% of that branch circuit. As long as I meet both of those requirements, I can run that entire bathroom off the one circuit, including the receptacles, multiple, and also lighting outlets, bathroom vent fan, and other piece of equipment. I do want to note that I could have both of these towel bars as long as either one of them didn't meet that 50% or 80% rule. I could have both of them. So it's saying as long as that those, you know, all things are equal and you don't have the 50% rule or the 80% rule upside down, then you're okay. You can go ahead and run it. Now let's talk about a different scenario. Am I allowed to run the bathroom lights off of another circuit like the hallway circuit? And the answer is yes. You are allowed to tap lighting from anywhere. Um, and you may have to if you meet the 50 or 80% rule. Let's say you had a fixed towel bar and it was an 11 amp uh, towel heating bar. You could not run lighting off that bathroom branch circuit at that point, and you could pull lighting from the hallway, but you couldn't run anything else. You couldn't run receptacles. You couldn't run anything like that. So I am the electrical code coach. Hopefully this video added a little bit of value to you, and my bargain is that you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything that I can do to help you in life or business, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I do want to let you know that we're also taking questions for our upcoming new electrical code coach show where we're going to be taking live calls we're going to be taking um you know questions we're going to be kind of doing a show for you guys and hopefully that will turn into something fruitful as well if i want you guys to know that i'm praying for you today and if you need anything from me like i said email me anytime let's get to it